Welcome back to another tech tip from Varnberg Implement and today we're going to talk about exhaust emission technology. As you can see we have a variety of Massey Ferguson tractors here and we also have a variety of emission exhaust emission technology here. Massey uses Ferguson uses a wide variety of different technologies that we feel are the best for each series and that's the way we're going to look at this. We're going to break down the good, the bad of exhaust emissions so you learn more and understand why it's happening in the industry and what it, uh, the, what it does for you and any additional costs that may be a burden on you for that. The first tractors we're going to look at is the 1700 series compacts. In these, the E series and the premium series, we use exhaust maintenance we use what we call diesel particulate filter. Now the only exception to this is the GC subcompact and the 1726E is below diesel particulate filter requirements in a tractor. So we're going to jump in here, get under the hood, and look at the good, good and bad of this 1700 series of diesel particulate filter and what is actually happening inside of here. This is the first system. This is the first system. This is on a 1734E, and what this is, is this is a diesel particulate filter, but we also have something else. We have a diesel oxidation catalyst that is like a catalytic converter that cleans up some of the exhaust. The diesel particulate filter actually cleans out the soot out of the exhaust, and this side here is going to be our uh, noise re noise suppression system or muffler aka uh, where the exhaust is leaving but what a diesel particulate filter does is it's very similar to a self-cleaning oven it filters the soot out of the air the exhaust air traps it in the filter when that filter gets plugged it cleans it out this system here is a automatic regeneration Basically, we have to use some type of fluid to clean the exhaust. In this case, we're going to use diesel fuel to create a fire, burn, create that heat to burn that soot out, which creates ash. This system here, probably the biggest negative, is over time, at approximately 3,000 hours, this diesel particulate filter is going to have to be replaced. Um, there is excessive cost in this, and that's why you should consult your sales professional when you're de purchasing a tractor what this cost is going to be at approximately 3,000 hours. Now, the thing that I look at on this tractor here, most of my customers that purchase a 1700 series are putting between 50 and 100 hours a year on it. So this filter replacement is going to be, at 3,000 hours, is going to be from 30 to 60 years before they need to replace it. It's an economical solution, it cleans the exhaust, meets the emissions, and not a lot of added cost to a customer. But if you had this on a big tractor, you may put 3,000 hours in faster than you, uh, than you realize. It may be three years for some farmers that put 1,000 hours or 500 hours, you're gonna be placing it in six years, and three to $5,000 cost of one of these filters could be very expensive for you. That's why this solution on the smaller compact tractors is a very economical solution to meet the emissions technology. It, in the E-Series, it basically automatically, when the filter gets plugged, it automatically creates, it, it automatically burns it. You can see reduction in performance. Uh, we have had customers in the field that going through Regen, and they're not seeing a lot of loss in performance with the Massey Ferguson product. But this is a diesel particulate filter on a 1700E series tractor. Now we've moved up to a premium series tractor. And as you notice, it's very similar. We have a similar silver canister here. But one thing about this device, uh, we have the same diesel oxidation catalyst. Our diesel particulate filter is in the center section. And our noise suppression systems over here on the left side is this is our exhaust leaving the tractor. This system on here is a little more advanced. It's got a automatic system just like the other one that will automatically regen when it needs to. Or by viewing the dash, you can actually check the soot level and do a manual regeneration. You can force the regeneration when you want it re to regen, not when the tractor says it has to. So it gives you a little more flexibility and gives you a little more options. Um, going out brush hogging where there's a dirty, dusty environment, these 
this is going to create about a 1500 degree fire within this canister so if you're in a condition that you may have chaff and dust and grass clippings and stuff like that you may want to do just park the tractor do it but the night before you do it or the next morning before you go do it let it regen clean itself out and then you're good to go probably for the day for a few days actually uh, that's one of the differences between the diesel particulate filter in our premium series compacts and our economy series compacts the automatic or optional manual regeneration user inputted of this canister you're still going to have roughly the same service life but it's going to give you more choices of when and how the regeneration process work it's still going to use diesel fuel to inject that diesel fuel in there to to burn that exhaust out the soot out of the filter now this is the 4600 series similar to the same thing the 2700 series it features no exhaust maintenance how can we get no exhaust maintenance from a tractor well these engines are designed to not need it and let's get under the hood and learn the difference now we see in the 4600 series we have that uh, same similar silver canister up here but in this tractor it's only a diesel oxidation catalyst this tractor features high pressure direct injection and the agco power three cylinder engine that meets the tier four interim exhaust maintenance requirements without needing diesel particulate filter or diesel exhaust fluid we already know that the 4610M, the next generation of the 4600, will be offering DEF to meet the Tier 4 final solutions. So this tractor has no exhaust maintenance. There is no extra fluid required to clean the exhaust. No diesel fuel, no DEF. That's one of the differences between this tractor and some of the competition is there's no there's no extra cost down the road there's no replacing a filter no burning extra diesel fuel and no def usage so it's something to consider when you're purchasing your next tractor what the additional cost could be to you over the life of that tractor if you look right here here's our fuel filters but if you look right up here you see this line this line is our high pressure direct injection what it does is the fuel pump creates a tremendous amount of pressures in the 20 to 25,000 PSI range in here. This fuel rail sends the fuel to the injector. Basically an injector is changed now. It's more like a faucet. The, there are electronic controlled faucets that is controlled by the engine control module and it injects the fuel at precisely the right time. This engine can, can supply fuel at up to six different times during the, each combustion cycle to each cylinder say you're doing piddly work uh, loader work feeding that type of stuff where you're not needing a lot of uh, power this thing is going to shoot maybe three four bursts versus six bursts so it's going to save fuel but it's also going to create less exhaust emissions the last system I want to discuss is the DEF system. This is a selective catalyst reduction. What it uses is it uses another media, diesel exhaust fluid, which is real high grade urea and distilled water that goes in a separate reservoir. It does not mix with the diesel fuel. As you can see here, diesel fuel goes in here, DEF goes in there under the blue knob. You can purchase DEF, like the Agco DEF, which is a high quality DEF from your local Agco dealer or you can purchase DEF as long as it meets the ISO certification from fuel suppliers, truck stops, and it can be bought in volume. We can sell it to you in volume too. But what I want to explain about DEF is versus a diesel particulate filter. Diesel particulate filter is cleaning the soot. If you cool the engine, bur cool the engine burn like EGR, like the diesel particulate filter systems are using, it's going to cool the burn so you don't create NOx gases. That's the two things that the emissions is going after. Soot, or particulate matter they call it, and NOx gases, nitrogen oxides. 
nitrogen oxides are what has contributed to acid rain that we've all probably heard about. Nitrous oxides are created at real high exhaust temperatures. So if you cool the burn of the engine, you're not going to create NOx gases. But you create extra particulate matter or soot. That is why the diesel particulate filter systems at low RPM usage are going to need to regen more often and clean more exhaust. And a tractor like this 6600 series or a 5600, the 4610M coming, our 76, 77, 86, and 8700 series tractors use, D, use diesel exhaust fluid. And we're going to jump in here and I'm going to show you the difference. This is a unique system for Agco. We have used two different systems over our life. We began the first time with a computer program just in shooting, shooting this stuff as, as what the computer says need, was required for the RPM ranges and stuff. But now we have a new system that came out in our second generation that you'll see in all that, that series. The first 8600 series tractors that came were the first ones to use that computer system. Now we're using a double knock sensor to control exhaust emission. Mate. On the Agco SCR technology systems, you'll see this component right here. This is our first knock sensor. Right here is our turbocharger going into the dosing module. This sensor here measures the amount of NOx gases in the exhaust right after it leaves the combustion chamber. This right here is the dosing module, which is dosing the DEF into the dosing module. This sensor here, and I'll show you in just a little bit, one on the post, is a, there's a post combustion. So what it does is it doses here for what it thinks it needs, checks it after treatment, and if it's too high, they add mo you'll add more DEF here. If it's too low, they reduce the amount of DEF just to meet the emissions technology. So between the two NOx sensors reading back and forth, it varies the rate of dosing based on what is required by the engine versus a computer program like some other companies use. And we used in our first generation diesel exhaust or SCR systems on the Massey Ferguson tractors. This is the post-treatment post knock sensor. It's measuring the readings against the pre-treatment pre knock sensor and measuring those readings so that you only we're only using the amount of DEF that's required. If you're doing light duty work you may not use any DEF. If you're doing medium duty work you may use a little. If you're doing a heavy high RPM load creating a lot of heat where a lot of NOx gases are created you're going to use more DEF. So varying the rate of DEF is easier on you and easier on your pocketbook. I hope that helped you learn a little bit about the different exhibition systems out here on the market and what Massey Ferguson's solution is to provide you the simplest, easiest, most economical, and lowest maintenance systems. Farmers have been green before green was even cool. I mean, we've always been good stewards of land. We know the value of managing our, our soils so we can grow crops because it directly affects your pocketbook. The emissions systems also affects your pocketbook. Make sure you add this to your sales decision when you're purchasing your next tractor. You need to learn from the sales professionals that you're talking about. Ask the question, what kind of emission systems you're using and what is going to be required for me and what is my additional cost? Today, when you're purchasing your tractor and down the road, what happens at 3,000 hours, 5,000 hours, 300 hours, 500? Make sure you check those intervals and what is going to be required of you to keep it up and running and in top shape so you can get more work done on less fuel and create a cleaner environment and most of all put more money in your pocket. Thank you for tuning in to another set of tech tips from Barnberg Implement and I hope that helped you learn the differences and learn a little bit more about exhaust maintenance. It's a, it's a new subject but it's not a scary subject. Use it to your advantage and get the most out of the equipment that you're purchasing. And make sure you visit your local Massey Ferguson dealer. If you need to find your local Massey Ferguson dealer, go to MasseyFerguson.com. There's a dealer, dealer locator there, and they can help you learn the same thing that we're teaching you here today.